Welcome back to another Shamshir Sound video. ImageLine just released an update for FL Studio 21. So I figured let's capture the process of how I go about updating my FL Studio and migrating the settings and retaining everything. If you guys are enjoying these quick videos, remember to smash up the like button and let's get started. So this is a familiar window. We went ahead and downloaded the demo from ImageLine. Let's go ahead and click next, accept. I actually always just do current user. I don't think it's gonna make a big difference, but there is that disclaimer of installing the registry code first. So I just click current user. I'm just one user. You wanna make sure you only check the ones that you need. So desktop icon, I mean, I have it pinned to the taskbar, so I don't really need that. Here on plugin database, you can't actually uncheck it, but you could click don't install. So if you have a very customized plugin database, you could click don't install, and then you'd have to look for those plugins manually. I'm just gonna leave it on simple because I honestly just use plugin finder. I often, I'm not using that list. We also have FL plugin as VSTI or VST instrument. This is for bringing in FL Studio into another DAW. This is for bringing FL Studio into Ableton or other DAWs, and I don't need that. So I'm gonna uncheck that. I also, I'm not using ASIO for all. I am recording with FL Studio ASIO, or if I'm just producing like normal, I just use my ASIO driver from Focusrite, Scarlett 2i2, my audio interface. I would suppose if you wanna really retain your plugin database exactly the way it is, then click don't install instead of simple or these other options. Last but not least, settings. If you have any problems with FL Studio, maybe there's been glitches, maybe there's been some issues, some sort of bugs, then I would suggest clearing, this will help. But I wanna migrate over my settings if I've made any adjustments, I don't want them reset, and that could be a variety of stuff. So I'm gonna leave this unchecked. It's gonna install and update the database simply categorized. We're not gonna install FL plugin as a VSC instrument. We're not installing ASIO for all, just FL Studio ASIO and we're migrating the settings. I'm gonna click next. Now here, it wants to install it in program files, image line, FL Studio 21. That's the default directory. If that's what you're doing, you can just click next, but I have it installed right in my C drive. So I'm gonna make sure that I specify that. So under C, I have it FL Studio 21. So I wanna make sure that I specify that same folder. I don't want it leaving that and then installing FL Studio in a different folder. I wanna make sure it's going in the exact same root folder. With that selected, I'm gonna click next, again install. This does normally take some time, so we'll speed this up. It's just decompressing a lot of files. And worry not in terms of it deleting stuff in your FL Studio folder. It's just overriding old files. So updating the existing, your custom content is retained in that folder. Now at this point, just click next. It's warning you to register your FL Studio. I'm gonna hit next and then finish. So let's take a look and see what happened with our FL Studio, the version, and what did it retain. Now with FL Studio fired up, I can see that it still loaded my Shamshir Sound empty preset, still the same settings. All of this looks familiar to me in terms of my buffer length and all that. How about file? Yes, so what I specified for custom directories in addition for VST and VST instruments are still there. My PAX directory is still there. Let's take a look, is it activated? Yes, FL Studio is unlocked and still activated. So it looks like you just have to do that one-time activation. Once you just install that demo, it's just gonna update you to the latest one. So right now we're on 21.0.2. And finally, all the third-party plugins that I've installed, this list looks identical to me before I did this update. So everything's looking great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to smash up the like button if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and that way you're alerted of the uploads. Let me know, what has your experience been updating FL Studio? Any tips, any tricks, any errors you guys also experienced? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.